Okay, so in this video, we're going to move into an arithmetic series. So up until this point, we have been talking about an arithmetic sequence, and we have that equation right here. So that's the equation we use when dealing with an arithmetic sequence. So in this video, we're going to be talking about an arithmetic series. And arithmetic series is simply just going to be a sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so it's the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence sequence, okay? So if we look at what we have here, okay, they want us to find the nth partial sum of the arithmetic sequence. So here's our sequence. They're telling us that it's arithmetic, and they give us this value here. It says n equals 30, okay? So that's the term we're going to go up to when calculating, okay, the partial sum. So for example, what we have to do is we want to find the sum of all the terms in this arithmetic sequence going up to the 30th term. Okay? So before we can do that, we have to find the value of this 30th term, right? What is the value of the 30th term in the sequence? And in order to do that, we're going to have to use um, the equation for an arithmetic sequence. So let's do that first. Okay? So here is our arithmetic sequence. Our first step is to find the common difference between our terms. And that's fairly straightforward. We've gone over that in the past. So going from 2 to 5, you know that that's going to be 3. Going from 5 to 8, that's 3. And going from 8 to 11, that's also 3. Okay, so our common difference here between our terms is going to be 3. Again, that's going to be D in your equation for an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so again, our goal right now is to find the value of the 30th term in this arithmetic sequence. So let's use our equation here. So we're going to say a of n equals, again, a of 1 is talking about our first term in our arithmetic sequence. So we're going to have 2 here plus n, in this case, that's going to be the 30th term, and then minus 1. D, again, that's our common difference, which we determined was going to be 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this out. So we get A of N equal to 2 plus, this is going to give us 29 times 3. So let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator and see what we get here. So we get 2 plus 29 times 3, and we get 89. Okay, so we get 89 here. So what this tells us is the value of the 30th term in this sequence is going to be 89. So let's go ahead and record that. So a of n equals 89. Okay, so now we have all the information we need to calculate the partial sum of this arithmetic sequence. So again, essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to calculate the sum of all the terms in this sequence going up to the 30th term. Okay? So let's erase that. And here's our equation that we're going to use. It's called the nth partial sum of an arithmetic series. So let's go ahead and calculate this. So we get s of n equal to n. In this case, is going to be the 30th term. So we write 30. a of 1, that's our first term in the sequence, so 2. A of n, that's what we just determined, right? That we determined that the 30th term is going to have a value of 89. So plus 89. And then divided by 2. Okay, so let's simplify this down. We get S of n equal to 30. This is going to give us 91. And then divided by 2. So let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator and see what we get. So we're going to do 30 times 91 and then divide by 2. So we get a value here of 1,365. Okay, so let's record that, 1,365, okay? So this is our answer. So again, what this is telling us is this is the sum of all the terms in this arithmetic sequence going up to the 30th term, all right? And that's going to be 1,365, okay? And that is it.